Hi, welcome to Doris and Kids. If you're new here, my name is Doris. I'm a mom of four that homeschool, work full time, and in college yourself. So we're going to be setting on my November um, planner, but we're going to set this up pretty quickly. And the only thing I'm going to show you is my habit tracker, and I wanted to work on my habit. But as you all know, my life has been crazy, so I had to work on things it had to be done that week or that day, just because my schedule is already packed. My habit tracker it is weekly. I did a weekly instead of monthly because I wanted to reward myself at the end of every week to encourage me more to do the habit. And I tried to do, when I did it, I think total of all my habit track I do for the year, maybe I'm pushing it, maybe five months total, but probably on the lower end of three months that I did my habit tracker. So it was not consistent. And because of that, my habit did not stick. So since I'm less busy in November uh, with classes and stuff slowing down for the next four weeks, I'm going to be not busy. I decided to put that back in there and try to still implement it in the month of December when I do get busy uh, with the uh, nursing school thing. Uh, and then just continue in 2025 because there's some things, habit I actually want to do, like working out consistently. So I'm going to do four habits. That was my goal from the beginning of the year. But just to work on four at a time and I have a lot of space up there. I did not want it to overwhelm myself. So the first habit I'm going to put on there is working out three times a week or just working out because I'm just focusing on self-care um, right now just because I haven't been taking care of myself with everything going on, divorce and things like that. And children, I don't take care of myself. So one thing I want to do is make sure I work out. That is part of my self-care. So most of I'm going to be focused on a lot of self-care uh, for the month of November because I need to take care of myself. So I'm going to put work out times three. Okay. And the next thing on there is uh, be consistent with my skincare routine, uh, with my face and things like that. I have um, implemented doing a skincare routine. I'm trying a Korean um, skincare product right now, uh, which is kind of out of the range for me because I use Nacho homemade product. I'm taking a plunge and I'm going to try it out. So we're going to do skincare. My skin is not horrible. It just, you know, it's not the best it can be. So I'm going to do time seven. And then next thing on there is I'm going to read. So I'm since I'm starting now it's nursing school and it's a Saturday program freaking out. I want to read this before school starts. It's a huge book. Uh, of bundle for nursing thing. I want to read this before my school start in January. So I'm going to put it on there. And I'm counting that self care because I feel like when I read that, when nursing school start in January, I'm not going to be having panic attack. So it's a pre self care. My fourth item I'm going to work on for November is going to be journaling. I haven't journaled <laughs> maybe like a year now. I have write different things in my journal. I have this right here, um, the Traveler Notebook that I use for journaling. And I only use, I have like five books in here and one of them is used. The rest of them is empty. Um, so I wanna go back to that. The reason I wanna go back to that is whenever I journal, my thought and my mind is clear. My mind is clear, it helps me with the studying, it helps me with the workout, my skin can help me with my kids. I just have a lot of things going into my head running through a lot of times. Um, so I'm going to start journaling to try to clear that out. For my reward on here, I'm going to get journaling supply because right now all I have is my book and my pen. So I'm going to splurge and get journaling supply. So that will be my reward, um, probably like new pen or something. So now we're going to start for my month of November. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to put November up here. I have space to spell it out. I don't know why I don't. Okay, so up here, this is where I'm going to leave this blank um, because my Bible reading I'm doing right now is very personal. So I'm not going to put that on there. Um, but this is where I put my Bible um, um, scripture writing or Bible reading for the month. I'll just put that up here. I'll do that off camera. And then in here, this is things I want to accomplish um, by the month of November. So the first thing I want to do is I have a to-do list from the college that I got accepted to. Uh, for nursing school so I want to be able to do that so this is what I need to do it's like five pages and the due date you know so I need to do all of that so that's gonna be my first thing 
on here is um, to do my tested tech university to do lace because that's basically what it's called on there and then my second to do uh, things i want to accomplish is to increase my grade in lab spin i currently have a c in lab spin because i need to turn in some homework and things like that i want to do in my cna class so i'm trying to put that up because i don't want to fill this class because if i do fill this class my accepting from the university for nursing school is going to be rescinded and i don't need that all i need to see in a class but i want to get an a in a class because it's not as hard it's just a lot of busy work and then the next thing on here is i am i have completed my cna courses um the whole class but i have not taken the state exam so for the month of november is i want to take the state exam for my cna so i'm going to, need to go and test for that So the next thing is I want to spend more time with my kids. Um, I want to be intentional because with the CNA class and the classes and a lot of things going on, I haven't really spent time with them before. I used to like spend one-on-one -on -one time with each child. Uh, and a lot of the time is that when I go grocery shopping, go early and spend one or two hours just getting tea or whatever in their favorite place. My oldest, she liked bubble tea. So we used to go and get tea. When my middle child, um, she liked Chick-fil-A. So we used to go and get that. But... We haven't been able to do any of that just because I've been busy and then, you know, I don't really have the funds for it. So I want to be intentional to spend time with them. It doesn't include us spending money, uh, but just spending time with them because I miss my kids. Uh, with Miss, when I was doing the CNN anything, I didn't really spend that much time with them just because I had to go and then clinical and then work. Um, so I want to go back to doing that because the whole reason I'm doing this is for my kids. And if I am not spending time with them, then what's the whole point of it? So the next thing I want to do at least one is go hiking. We used to go hiking every weekend, but with everything going on, I just, with my schedule, I haven't gone hiking. So I want to do that. And that's a family fun time with the family, not just with me. So the next thing on there is time, is spend more time with God. And my last thing is self-care. So up here, this is where I put prayer requests for either me or for people. Um, so I'm going to leave that blank because that's between that person and God and that person and me. Um, so I'm going to leave that, especially my prayers. <laughs> I'm going to leave that blank right now. So I love on data planning. The reason is because I am a mom and I'm very busy. I have a lot of stuff going in my life. So if I forget to plan for that a specific week, I can still move that pages and use it. When it's data, I feel obligated to use that. And then I can't use it because it's, the data is already passed. And then I start feeling guilty. And when I start feeling guilty, I start thinking I'm not planning the right way. And then I also go on to uh, make me not to plan because now I'm trying to figure out what to do. So with on data, I can plan every week if I need to. And then if something come up, I can just rearrange these pages or just start back where I left off just by just dating them. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to fill out when I'm working. Okay. And then on Wednesday, we have church. It seems like lately we're only going to Wednesday service for church just because I have been sleeping in on Sunday. For some reason or not for some reason i'm tired <laughs> the next thing we have a red purse day is american heritage girls i'm gonna use these stickers i'm trying to get rid of it's all messed up and stuff i have this assignment sheet i'm gonna use um to put my assignments that i need to do for the um for my classes so i know on the fifth i have a discussion that's just a research paper so i have an assignment there so on the seventh i have a test and it's right here for last span as well and then on the 14 i have a quiz for last span right there. and then on the 18 i have a test for art appreciation and then i call it 18 test for art appreciation and then the 27 i have test for last span and then the 28 i have a test for art appreciation.
This is Thanksgiving. So the most important thing that's happening in November is on the 4th. On the 4th is Sunday birthday. Um, my son, he is turning 9, y'all. And I am not okay at all. So for the 1st and the 2nd, we're going to go camping. So this is what I'm going to put in my planner. The rest of the stuff that's going on is very private and have like to give location and things like that for my children. So I'm not going to write it on here. And I actually have two pages of November. I'm going to go and redo this in November and I'm going to write my personal stuff in there. That way if I do need to do a video on this page, I don't have my personal information on um, YouTube. But I'm just going to redo this. On a different um, sheet it's gonna be this one right here and I'm going to write um, my personal stuff in there but it's going to be on the back of this and that's going to be my actual one I'm using at home but this is just the video for you to get an idea of what's going on without showing personal information I don't know if that makes sense I know it's very wasteful about how the extra monthly plan is sticking around thank you so much for watching the video and sticking around with me if you have any questions, please don't be shy. Comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.